Well, good morning to part three of Chris, uh, Trucking Christmas. It's a um, bit of a nightmare. This is the, uh, it's now the 21st. It is Monday. I left on Sunday the 20th. And as I got on the boat, which was an amazing boat, to be honest, it was the Galicia. Oh my God, what a, what a lovely boat. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, um. But as I was getting on the boat, the French authorities um, had banned uh, accompanied lorries um, into France, which means any driver, you know, uh, unaccompanied, you know, just uh, trailers on their own or things like um, containers and all that sort of stuff is okay. But, uh, so we got on the boat not knowing whether we, we can get off the other side. It's looking like we can. I'm just waiting for the other two because uh, we've decided that we're going to travel in together so that we, uh, if we get into any trouble, we could be safe, you know? That's the plan. At least we've got our, our each selves to, uh, to keep an eye on what's going on. So that's the plan anyway so uh, at the moment um, as from this morning there are no ferry crossings coming back across to the UK uh, to France from the UK no Ireland or nothing like that that's all banned as well so yep 48 hour ban which is obviously going to make a right cock up with uh, with trucks trying to get over to France and then come back across again but um, it's looking like we can get out of the port with trucks. I know you can see the cars going through, but that's cars. They can't really sleep in them for a day or two. It's the uh, trucks that we're worried about. But I think we can. Just want the other two to arrive so we can get out of here. <laughs> this is going to be a monumental cock up. I can see it coming. Well, there's nothing we can do about it, you know. Once we get out, out of the, the gates and we start heading down, we could even hit a payage and the, and the police just turn around and say, park up, you know. I could see us uh, bringing this lot back, yeah. But at the moment, we're at the gate and it's looking like I can go through. So just waiting for the others and we'll be on our way. Right, so we've got Rooney in front and then Ali, um, Alan in front of me in the middle here and then me tailing the back end. <laughs> we've got ourselves a Christmas convoy. But it looks like we are out the port. Which is ideal. I tell you what, it's too stressful for words at the moment. Um, there were drivers on there last night that were worried about getting beaten up because uh, of the French uh, fishermen, you know. They thought they might come off the boat and then get uh, hit by the French fishermen. So it's, it's not good. Head for calm, baby. Could uh, head for Mont Saint Michel, but uh, we got one of them in Penzance, so I shall go and visit that one at home, I think. Well, hello, good morning. Uh, we're still on the go, we're still moving in France. This is Team Westfield Brexit problem, um, uh, but at the moment we're still going, which is good. All I want to do is get tipped <laughs> and get loaded, of course. This is where we normally come on. If we go uh, come out from Con, we normally come around this bend here. 
and then up over to Ski Jump. Having been to uh, Sherborne for a long time. If we weren't for all the problems, we would have quite enjoyed that. So we should go over to Ski Jump here and then take the first exit, Junction 1, for the uh, A13 Paris. Paris. We're all going to stick together, so um, we're not going to go down the national or go different ways. We'll go the way that the, the first one is, and we're all going to go the same. So uh, no splitting up and going in all these different directions. That way, if we hit trouble, then there's three of us. They'll have to deal with, you know. And, uh, and I'm not sure which way I go. If I know Rooney, he's probably going to go the way I go um, at the moment. He will go down City 154 and then go down the National. In the daytime, in nice times, when it's all nice and bright and lovely, I wouldn't come off on this junction, I would come off on the next one and go down the national way. I think at the moment we have driver's hours and stuff and wanting to keep as much as we can. Uh, we're taking the second be better option than us taking the second junction. Uh, the first junction going down the motorway to, uh, to the national 154. Anyway, look at that, there's three of us. Hey, hey. I didn't realize, but there's actually one of us already over here as well. So there's, uh, there's one already here. The job is a good one. <laughs> the guard is on her way. Hello, convoy of uh, police. Mm -mm. And another. And another. Wonder what they do then. And another. Wow. Don't remember to say happy Christmas or happy Brexit. I'd love a happy Brexit. They reckon all this is about coronavirus and uh, that new strain and keeping it out of uh, France and Ireland and all the rest of it. Contained in the UK, yeah right. There's nothing about that at all. It literally came within half an hour of an announcement about no deal like, you know? And then all of a sudden, freight has stopped getting into uh, France for a 48 hour ban. Yeah. But they got there, and what they don't realize is they got there are loads and loads and loads of European drivers, um, a lot of it of their own, stuck in the UK can't get across there's not a boat sailing today look at all these what is all this <laughs> right what's going on here then oh them police are still coming I actually half envisioned them like blocking the whole of the bloody uh, payoffs and say, right, that's it. But no, they're all going through. So are we.
<laughs> right, problem number one, diverted. Lovely. What the hell's going on here then? The National Police. Wonder what they call them, them little trailers. I'm intrigued. Right. We're still moving. We're still moving. Well, it's got to be time for a break soon. We've got to have half an hour yet. We've got 15 minutes. Well, we had a yap and a work out what's going on um, got 21 minutes so should make the one where I normally go to which probably figures why Alan overtook the two of us I ended up in the middle between us hello Alan hey. yeah that probably explains that actually because he knows where we go and uh, Rooney don't Oh, lovely, he's gone in there, look. Oh, do you know what? I think we can all fit in here. Ah, deal. That'll do then. It's only for a quick half an hour, like, you know. Hey. -hey. Oh my god, what a place to have a break. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, never mind. Here I do. I got a coffee, cup of tea. Yay! I'm already sorted. Sorted! Well, look at the roads. One crazy Englishman on the road, that's it. Look. <laughs> yep, it is dead. And I've not seen one Polish or Romanian at all all day. Now that's got to tell you something. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Well we're at our destination to tip. So let's hope we can get this uh, off and then that's stage one of my mutant virus and um, Brexit trucking situation. So yeah, yeah that's, that's it really. <laughs> there's one of ours just going in now in front of me. There's one already there. And there's only one other truck, two other trucks. So yeah, I do. Right, let's get this, let's get serious. Let's get this on the go. Get this tipped. And then we are done, 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 done. Lovely. Well, I think I'll go round all the way round the roundabout. I want to go right here, but the um, the Christmas decorations are so lovely. I thought we'd have to have a proper look at it, you know. And some. That's where I just loaded. How nice is that? <laughs> oh, that Rudolph is amazing. Right, anyway, back to it. It is early in the morning. Um, I've just loaded a load of almond milk, UHT milk. For a well-known fridge haulier in Somerset. <laughs> so I'm heading for there. So Dringy is locked and loaded and uh, on my way to um, UK. I'm going up via Dieppe.
DF, which is at five o'clock French time, that's four o'clock English. We should get her about one o'clock in the afternoon, that's ideal. Well, this old milk is a bit heavy. <laughs> Not three bad. It's putting me just on the uh, French limit, 40 tons. So it is all right. Not bad weather to be fair. And my God, it's raining. What the hell? Those red lights in front of you is the port, man. Right, I better put you away. Bye for now. Well, Grinny is now a happy boy because I have now got my tickets. Sort my paperwork out. Oh dear me. Tickets! Which means I'm booked on the boat. 1800. 1500. Um, English time, yeah. Got me a nice blue passport. Fancy non-Euro one. This is uh, just a, a British and Northern Ireland passport. <laughs> Posh am I, I should say. We normally have three, but obviously it's a daytime crossing, so it's not going to be a bed one. You know, so you don't have a cabin. But this ticket here, Oh, it does say 
I can have a berth. Berth? So I might be able to have a room. Mm hmm. See how it goes, huh? Put my passport in my passport place. And then I should get myself all ready for later. Can just get some lunch right now. Get me boarding pass here. That can stay there. That's my ticket. So that can stay with me. Yeah. Wonderful. Anyway, do you like my loud chair? This is a Santa and Christmas trees and all sorts of stuff. It's a very loud chair, but it is Christmas and it is the 22nd and I am queued waiting to get on the boat at 1800. Uh, and I will be in the UK for about 10 half past 10 tonight. English time. No. Half past nine English time. And just in case I run out of milk, well, I've got 27 pallets of milk. <laughs> I'm not running out, not, in, not for a while, although it is almond milk. That can be very nice, can it, eh? But there you go, I should put that back in my folder. Because we have to carry like letters from our company uh, explaining who I am, where I am, where I was born and everything, my, uh, and where I'm travelling to and from, how many days I'm going to take to do it, and it's all stamped by the boss. We have to fill one of these out every time, which is a boarding, a border force form, which I've got to fill in this one because we've just done that. And I'll wait for it to adjust. And we have also got one you have to fill out before you even come across to say that you have confirmed you have not got coronavirus. A certificate for international transport workers to say that we are able to, to drive. And this one here is to say that I'm a key worker and that I'm also allowed to drive. And then you've got your CMR and your paperwork. And you need all that to drive over your it's incredible. Well that can go back in there. I've just been searched all over the trailer and everything. So I'm going to write that down on my pieces of paper. You know, to say that it's been done. I'm going to do that and get some lunch. And I'm uh, just going to sit here in this miserable old day. And I'm going to uh, watch a bit of telly and uh, wait to get on the boat. Dringy is coming into the UK to a store near you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. See you in a bit. Bye for now. Dringy is here and Dringy is going on the boat. Good morning, this is Dringy and it is the 23rd of Christmas. Uh, and good news, I am in the UK. Thank God for that. Uh, now, um, as you were aware, I I got to the port of Portsmouth on the Sunday to get on the boat for Sunday, nine o'clock. Eight o'clock, we suddenly got um, notification from uh, a friend of mine actually rang me up and said that there's problems and have you heard? Of which I then put the um, the news on to find out what was going on. Only to find 
all this problems going on you know uh, anyway we were like I don't know whether to get on the boat or not get on the boat uh, if we get on are we allowed to go and continue our journey on the other side can we get off the boat even that was also uncertainty uh, after that we didn't even know whether even if we got off the boat are the French authorities then going to ban us from going anywhere and literally stand us up on the port. Problem number three, we also heard that the French fishermen who are obviously um, a bit pissed off about the fishing rights at the moment, um, they were kicking off as well and we thought we were going to end up in a fight with the French trawlermen, you know? So we had a few boys, including a couple of friends of mine, uh, who do fish. They said they were loaded with English fish going over to France. So we decided to all pretty much stick together. So if we got off and there was problems, instead of them picking on one driver, there was going to be like 10, you know. So, so it can be a bit of a different story than 10 angry Englishmen trying to get through. So... We ended up getting off the boat, no problem. Got to the uh, port entrance or exit, no problem. Went straight through. Okay, we're on a go. Got down to get tipped and then it suddenly became apparent that the, the French also owned the boats. What if they put a stop on the uh, Brittany ferries for returning to the UK, knowing for a while that there was nothing much coming back? It's uh, a money loss. So. Then we thought that we were going to end up being stranded in France then until uh, after Christmas. But as it happened, I managed to get a boat on the um, Dieppe. So I got loaded with this milk um, Tuesday morning. I uh, got to Dieppe on the Tuesday afternoon and um, came across quite uneventful, to be, to be fair. And then uh, I'm now parked up here waiting to get going. I've been parked up since 9 o'clock last night, it's now midday and the reason for that is because my delivery is 9 o'clock tonight uh, and at the moment they won't budge on the time so I said I would not leave until dinner time then that way I could still get tipped within the 9 o'clock and still have a few hours left if I need to I don't know whether I'm going home after I tip or whether I go to load tomorrow or whatever. I have no idea. It's only shipped to Mallet, so it's not 100 miles away from home. So I'm kind of hoping it, it's going to be like tip and run home. In which case I might get home in the early hours of uh, Christmas Eve, which would be nice. If not, I have to get loaded and then that's it. So I'm just about to book on. And... Um, Please take a look at the news, or if you have been following the news, it's not nice. Uh, I, I am a firm believer that it's not COVID related, although that's that's what the excuse is. Um, this is Brexit. This is the fishing rights. Um, this is them flexing their muscles and saying, trying to put Boris in a corner and say, I give in, you know. But... It could have worked out a lot worse for us and we fully expected it to. The fact is that uh, we actually got across not too bad. It was alright. Now I'm in the UK, no matter what happens I'm going to get home tonight or tomorrow so I don't really care now. Um, going to have a good Christmas. Going to get home so that's the main thing. So anyway, you have a good Christmas yourself and um, I think we're going to stay home now until the new year because there's going to be this is going to be ongoing throughout the week and then they're going to work out what's going on this is just the, the start of it this is just the start of it so anyway this is um wednesday i'll uh, be doing some videoing on the way so i think the plan is now i'm going to leave in a minute I'm going to book on I'm going to book on now in fact Yes, 12 o'clock, exactly, so I'm going to go to there, press OK, places, begin place, United Kingdom. Alright, I'm booked on, I better get going. 
Okay, I'll see you on the road. Cheers and gone. Bye for now. My mate, Sean. So felt its worth.